<clears throat> What's going on, my family, my friends, my YouTube peeps? As you can tell, I've been gone for about a week. I haven't posted anything recent. Hopefully, I can actually get this video out. Um, I've been having a lot of computer issues. Been a pain in the ass, but so I'm gonna try to try to fix stuff day by day. Make it things where you guys can actually see me on a frequent basis. But the t the part of this video, I mean, the reason being for this video that I wanted to just, I guess, capture on my camera was the importance, I guess, of self worth and not living to other people's standards. Because I feel many times we go through life and there's all these different um, life standards and goals that you you must obtain to kind of fit into a certain realm. For instance, this whole fitness realm, it's based on aesthetics, um, being shredded year round, you know, like they, a lot of these fitness people, they, they advocate and they recommend some kind of very unhealthy lifestyle which really doesn't make you much of a man it doesn't really it doesn't matter if you're shredded or not it's like they put their whole self-worth in the idea of just being this lean guy and I feel like even for myself I fell into that I feel almost obligated to get shredded just to do this photo shoot just because yeah you know summer's coming around but like but I had to really think about it you know I mean obviously I was going through a breakup and I was needing something to get me on track which is great but I moved on from that a little bit well worth before my actual shoot so it it, it made me just think about some things it made me think about what's more important to me trying to portray an image that isn't realistic to a lot of people I mean, staying lean year-round, is that really a healthy thing at all? I mean, I'm just trying to promote people from feeling better, not just like looking better, but actually feeling better, feeling healthier, and just becoming the better version of themselves. And becoming the better version of yourself is not being stupid shredded, not um, thinking you're the, you know, the best fucking thing that came out. You know, it's not about that. It's about filling your own self-worth and what do you value yourself as a person? Like, I mean, are you going to value the importance of staying lean around to, for, like, I guess, to show a certain image, or are you going to do stuff that's going to make you happy? Stuff that's going to let you help others. If that's what you really want to do, is that is it going to leave a positive imprint on other people? Because let's face it, you know, every day you probably have a chance to influence someone else's life. And I feel by showing some of my adversity, showing some negative things that's happened to me, yes, it, it's good to show that so you guys may can relate. But whenever I see people advocating that if you're not fit, you're, you're a fat fuck, you, you're, you're nothing. It just drives my gears and I don't I'm not trying to get on this ramp but I just feel like there's so much fucking shaming in this industry like I don't even I don't even consider myself a part of it I'm not even really that that big or anything like that but it, it's it's sad to me that people are so insecure that they feel to <laughs> to like be negative towards other people because being negative is it's not bring us bring us together guys it's setting us apart so you're gonna always have this war between the shredded guys and then the, the bulkier, like heavier side, you know. Like, and if you really think about it, being contest lean is no better than being obese. Uh, I mean, it, it's really not. So the argument that being shredded is way healthier, it's such a healthier lifestyle. Being three, four percent is healthy. They're full of shit, and I don't give a fuck what they say because. They're fucking liars. All of them are. <clears throat> I just... I feel like it's time for me to just... 
enjoy stuff, you know, that's why I'm going into this long off season. I'm not dieting through a photo shoot anytime soon. It'll lace up. I'm taking a long ass break. And I, I just felt the need to mention this topic because, like, it seems people put their own worth in the physique. And I'm. It just. It, ah, I just, like. It, oh, it makes my mind go insane to think that that people do that and I wish I I mean I, I don't know, honestly you can't take anything back you know but when I really think about the whole idea of jumping into photo shoots again I don't know so you guys I feel like I'm, I'm just done with it I'm done with it for a pretty good while because I I want to worry more about I guess the important things. I want to become a professional natural bodybuilder one day. Okay, I want to help thousands of people. That's what I want to do. And I have to, I guess, progress in so many aspects of my life before I can make that happen. I need more years. You know, and whenever you're in a deficit, you're not really going in the right direction. You're not putting on the size necessary. You're not making strength gains as necessary. So that. That's a bit of like what's been going through my mind. I know I've been all over the fucking place, but it's just, it's like, I'm going to show you guys, I'm, in two years, I'm going to be around 225 to 230 pounds, and most of you guys are going to call me a fat fuck, but the funny thing is, it's this whole fitness, I guess, world that's portrayed being 15 to 18, hell, maybe even 20% just like just to be fucking fat, to be unhealthy, you know, and it, it just, it's crazy to think that, you know, that, that our little industry, because it's not even really that big, is so obsessed, and so just, I guess, <laughs> they're so misconceived in the idea that being stupid shredded year-round is just the way to go, and that anything above what's normal you know being normal abnormal healthy body fat is considered just bad it's it, it's it's horrible you know like i don't know guys i just sometimes i i, I feel like i didn't tell you guys this stuff because it it does get on my nerves and it gets annoying you know i, I it gets very annoying so i'm not trying to rant to you guys I just wanted to say something. Said I came back from the photo shoot, wasn't able to get any fucking thing. Computer is being a dick. Hopefully, I can actually get this out. Who knows? We will see. But yeah, guys, be a lot more knowledge coming your way. Fuck all this bullshit. You know, it, it, just fuck all the bullshit. We, we gotta stop it. We just gotta, gotta come together. Gotta come together as one. Try to help one another. Just remember that. So when, we're, when we are rising above normality, we're not rising over normal people because of their body fat. We're rising over the ideas and minds that we can become as mentally powerful as we possibly ever thought. Or we could become physically better than what we ever could imagine. But you have to believe first. So rising above that, it's just stating that we're doing our best to not only become just physically a lot better, but mentally you're just letting yourself be educated and just to keep learning and to never stop progressing. So you can always pass your knowledge generation from generation. Alright guys, you guys have been awesome. If you have any ideas, what I should talk about, just comment. I'm not afraid to talk about shit.